Suge Knight is a very complex person and probably right. not the person many people perceive because Suge Knight grew up in a tough neighborhood. The streets were tough, but he was a top student. He was a top athlete. He went to college, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, got very good grades, was a star athlete. He played professional football, and then he decided to go into business and became a world-famous, uh, successful businessman, a real innovator, a real creator. And he fostered uh, this tough guy image uh, partly because it just sold records. You know, um, he was never jumped into a gang, even though a lot of people think uh, he was. Uh, he wasn't. And uh, he did foster an image, and he did develop a uh, genre, rap music, which is controversial, I understand. But he also did an enormous amount of community. He devoted devoted an enormous time to charities. He um, he, he built athletic facilities for kids, uh, donated money for athletic facilities at schools. He financed a banquet every year in Beverly Hills for single mothers from the inner city to honor them for their great accomplishments. Uh, he paid for funerals for young men who were slain on the streets. And he did a lot of good that people don't know about. Um, and again, he, you know, uh, he, he made mistakes too, as we all do, but Chuck is one of the nicest people I ever met. And, uh, you know, but there is a public persona, a public image that, again, was designed to sell music and was very good at selling music. Um, but that's not, you know, who the person is, and that's not who the person is that I came to know and and, and I'm proud to represent. Wow, wow. That's, uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, thanks for uh, absolutely uh, telling us about Chug. And uh, our caller 